Hey guys, this is Steven here with another video on how to play some of my favorite puzzles. This one is on Kakuro. It's sort of like a crossword puzzle, but with numbers instead of words. The rules are pretty simple. Only the numbers 1 through 9 may be used. And in each row or column, there is a clue which indicates the sum total of all those individual cells in that row or column. So what I mean by that is here we see a number 6. These three cells to the right of it would add up to six. Here we see a 10. These four cells down here would add up to 10. A nine, uh, these two cells would add up to nine. So you, you kind of get the point. Now, like a crossword puzzle, uh, you'll see sometimes that there's two numbers. Um, the seven, which is above the diagonal, is referencing the cells to the right or across. And the 20, which is below the diagonal, uh, is referencing the cells going down. So that's pretty much it. There is just one other uh, rule and that uh, the sum totals may not include repeating digits. So this 16, for instance, could not be an eight and an eight. Even though eight plus eight equals 16, they're repeating, so that wouldn't work. Same thing with this 12, it couldn't be a six and a six. Now there could be uh, repeating digits across an entire row but not for a clue so for instance if there's a four here there could be a four over here as well it just can't have two fours in the same clue hope that makes sense what i'll do uh, is i'll try to solve this one and go through some of my common tips and tricks that i use just so you can see how it unravels a bit so the first thing that i do when solving these is i look for the smallest and largest uh, clues the reason for this is those are the ones that have uh, unique solutions or limited uh, possibilities. So for instance, if there's two cells that equal 3, 4, 17, or 16, those are real uh, easy ones to start off with. So for this 3, for instance, we know it's going to be a 1 and a 2. Those are the only two numbers that would add up to 3. Now the problem is, is I don't know which one of these is a one and which one of these is a two. So what I'm going to do is I'll just pencil mark in my notes and come back to that later. Here we see a 16, that's gonna be a nine or a seven. Uh, again, another 16, so that's a nine or a seven. And I think that's it for now. Uh, the next thing I look at are the three cells. If there's three cells with a 6, 7, 24, 23, those are uh, real easy to solve. So for instance, this 6 here, I know is going to be 1, 2, 3. But again, I don't know which cell is going to have the 1 or which cell is going to have the 2, but I know it's only going to be those three numbers, right? 1 plus 2 equals 3, plus 3 equals 6. That's the only possible solution. Uh, here we have a 7. That's going to be 1, 2, 4. Uh, and another six with three cells. So that's one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So you can see, even though I've not solved any cells yet, I'm starting uh, to get a pretty good picture here. The next thing I look for are four cells that have a sum total of 10, 11, 30, or 29. Again, those are the smallest possible outcomes or the largest possible outcomes. So here we see a 10. Uh, that's got to be one, two, three, or four. Um, so one, two, three, or four. So we can pencil that in. And I think that's good enough for now um, looking for, for large uh, and small sums. The next thing that I look for is I try to figure out what all the valid combinations are and if any of my penciled in notes fit or, or don't fit those combinations. So what I mean by that is if I look at 19, there's a lot of different uh, possibilities, right? 2 plus 8 plus 9 uh, would equal 19, or 3 plus 7 plus 9 would ni equal 19. So you can see a lot of possible solutions, but the one thing you'll notice is none of these have a 1 in it, right? So right away, I know that this cell here has to be a 2, because it, it can't be a 1. The other way you can go about it is, uh, if you look at it logically, uh, we could try to figure out what this third cell is by adding all the possible combinations of these two cells. So a 9 plus 1 equals 10, and then this would equal a 9, but you can't have that happen because the 9s would repeat. So that doesn't work with the 1, 
And then if you look at the 7 plus the 1, that equals 8. Um, 19 minus 8 is 11. You can't put an 11 there. So the 1 doesn't work with either the 9 or the 7. So we know the 1 is no good. So we can delete that there. So that's kind of how you go about doing these because now you can see that this is a 2. This one must be a 1. And you would continue to do that over and over and over again until the puzzle kind of falls apart. So again, we look at this 19 and we look at it, okay, of all the possible solutions that contain a two, there's only one combination. It's two, eight, and nine. Um, and so we know that this cell's not a seven. The other way you could look at it again is at trying to combine these. Uh, a nine plus a two equals 11, and then this would be an eight. Or if you do seven plus two, that equals a nine, this would then have to be a 10. That's not possible. So this cannot be a seven. So those are the two ways you can go about it. So again, nine plus two equals 11. This must be an eight. Okay. And then here we know that this can't be a nine because digits can't repeat plus nine plus nine doesn't equal 16. So we know that's a seven, right? Seven plus nine is 16. And now we can solve this cell easily because we have a seven and a one, which is an eight. Uh, and to get to 11, we need a 3. Okay, now we know this one's not a 3. Because again, 3s can't repeat. So here we have uh, 8 plus 3 is 11. We need these two cells to equal 5. Right, and the only way to get 5 out of these numbers here would be the 4 and the 1. Right, uh, if you look at it, the, there's no other possibility. So this has to be a 4. This has to be a one. And now I can remove the one from these cells, knowing that this must be a two or three. So the other thing here we see on 11, uh, well, there's a nine and a seven. So that must be nine plus two equals 11 or seven plus four equals 11. So I know that's a two or a four in this cell. But then when we look uh, at the clue, which is 12, 2 plus 10 equals 12, but we can't use 10, so we know it's not a 2. So that must be a 4, and so then this must be a 7, and this must be an 8. Okay, now I'm not going to finish this puzzle just for the sake of time, but I think you guys can see how it goes from there. Um, once you get a, a few clues in, it starts to unravel pretty quickly. Um, it's not one of my favorite puzzles, as I'd rather do... Ken Kens or Sudokus, I think they're a little bit more challenging. Um, and I'm not a big fan of, of the math part of it. I, I'd rather focus on pattern recognition, but that's just me personally. I still think it's fun to mix it up, and uh, I think it's a great puzzle. Give it a shot. Um, start off with the easier ones, and then, of course, you can work your way up to the, the harder ones. But if you liked what you saw here, please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe for more videos like this in the future. Thanks, everyone. Have a good night.